Hey guys, it's me Talha. In today's Revit exercise tutorial, I will be showing you a simple method to model this parametric wall in Revit. Now before we begin, I would like to recommend checking out my advanced 3D modeling courses on learnrevitonline.com. And if you find this video beneficial, you can also support my work on Patreon and help me continue making new videos every week. Anyway, let's get started so here i am in revit and as you guys know to create such parametric designs we need to use in place mass so let's go to massing insight here and uh, first i will just click show mass button and then in place mass let's click ok and here i'm just going to create a rectangle using model line let's tab select this uh, line and just make it one foot and the length let's make it 15 feet so this is going to be your wall okay let's uh, drag this uh, rectangle to the center here and go to 3d and i'm just going to select this rectangle and click create form here there we go now with this face selected we can see this temporary dimension let's click on it and just make it 12 feet perfect so if i change the visual style to shaded we'll be able to see uh, this form now i'm just going to the elevation here you can see we need to go to the south elevation here and and i'm just going to create a reference line here so let's go here and select reference line and this dialog box pops up we just need to select pick a plane and pick this face here now i'm just going to use uh, this spline and make sure draw and work plane is selected then we can just create a spline like this now i'm just going to select this spline and use this drag uh, handles and just change the shape of this spline like so and then we can just go back to 3d now to easily create profiles on this reference line we need to add uh, point elements make sure uh, draw and face is selected here then we can add a point and at the end point as well perfect now let's set the work plane to this reference point which we have just added then we can use arc and let's create an arc like this on this side i want to create a smaller one and then we can just close this profile using line now if i select this arc for the arc and this line also get selected so okay i'll just move this point here perfect let's create another profile on this side first we need to set the work plane and then use arc make sure draw on uh, work plane is selected then we can draw an arc from here like so let's close this profile as well using line and then we can just select this profile and this uh, reference line and then this profile and just go here click this drop down and select void form there we go if i change the visual style to shade and we'll be able to see we have created this kind of shape now to create another profile here uh, we cannot actually use the same reference line so we need to create a new one so let's go to south elevation and select reference and then select pick lines and just pick this spline which we have created earlier nothing's changed here but uh, we can see these two dots which means a new line is created just hit escape and go back to 3d and again we'll repeat the same process we'll first add point elements select draw on face and pick this edge uh, add another one here and then set the work plane to this point element just hit tab key to highlight uh, this vertical face and then use arc select draw on work plane and create a profile okay there is some issue i think 
I uh, selected the wrong uh, uh, face for the work plane. So let's repeat that again. Select work plane. Just highlight this face. Then draw an arc. Make sure drawn work plane is uh, selected. Then we can create an arc. Maybe one foot. Let's close this profile. Go here. Set the work plane again. Hit tab key to highlight this vertical face. And then uh, select arc. Let's create a profile like this. Then close it. Then select that. And then uh, let's select this reference line as well. And then this profile. And just uh, create void form. There we go. So we are almost done with modeling this parametric wall. Now to create the slats here, we need to use void again. So let's go back to south elevation. And again, we first need to set the work plane. Pick a plane. This time we will pick this face here. And then we can just draw a rectangle like so. Let's create uh, some dimensions here. Then tab select this line and let's put four inches and then hit tab key and select this line and this one should be three inches now we don't need these dimensions let's delete them and then select this uh, rectangle and just copy we'll copy from this point and let's add uh, around four or five of these and then hit escape key and select all of these lines then copy from this point again so this way we can quickly uh, add them here because the array tool does not work with these uh, lines in massing environment now we can create void forms uh, using these uh, rectangles so let's select this go here and create a white form and if i deselect this there we go let's repeat that with all these rectangles as well just select the rectangle and uh, just select white form So I have finished creating the voids. Now, as you can see, we already got this uh, parametric wall here, but still it's just a mass form. And to convert this form into solid uh, geometry, we need to use wall by face. So let's first uh, close the massing in environment. And then we can go to architecture, click this drop down, select wall by face and i'm just going to create a four inch wall which is the thickness of uh, each of these slats if you remember so let's create a generic four inch wall and put the same thickness here four inches click ok and now we can just select each of these faces here Now let's hide this mask. So just go to Massing Insight and just click here to turn it off. If it does not work, you can just press VG on the keyboard to open up the visibility graphics settings. Just click anywhere here and press M on the keyboard to go to Mass and check. Click Apply. OK. There we go. Now we can simply add a wall at the back side of this. So this was a quick and easy way to model. Uh, this kind of uh, cool looking parametric walls in revit so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out advanced 3d modeling courses on learnrevitonline.com and if you found this video helpful you can also support my work on patreon and once again thank you for your support and yeah i will see you guys in the next video